Hey guys, Keith from Helvonic Games. I'm on the Icarus game and I am doing the Payday Extraction mission. And I just wanted to show you what I've done to protect my extractors. Uh, I came down here before, I found the exotics deposit, uh, which for me was uh, in I 10, kind of just just northwest of this uh, this little bit of water. You can see my red dot there. Um, but uh, obviously there's wolves all around, but also scorpion, giant scorpions all around, um, which weren't too much of a problem. But then I put an extractor down. I got a I got a kind of a, a wind or a snowstorm, and the extractor, the durability of the extractor went down, and it got destroyed. So I had to go all the way back to base and make some more extractors. So this time. I came around, I came back and with some, I brought with me some stone walls and ceilings. So I brought eight, I basically brought about 16 pillars for the base, eight walls and eight floor, sleep floor slash ceilings and just made a square and actually it allowed me to put them directly on top. So I put the extractors down, I put one down, I built the entire little base like this on top of it and it actually allowed me to put another extractor down straight on top and I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll just take this out and I'll show you, um, show you that, just that it shows, show you how it allows you to, uh, okay, so uh, that is, that's pretty, pretty exotic, okay so uh, yeah so there we go you see so you can pop it there and it sets up despite having a floor there it allows you to put the exotics thing down and therefore stick some biofuel in it, activate it and you know, sort it. I also get it. I also brought a horse with me and that allowed me to carry two extractors with me rather than one. Because I'd already I'd already found the uh, I'd already found the exotics the second time around so I didn't need to bring my radar back. But normally if you want to bring a radar and an extractor I suggest taming a pet and that way you can carry uh, two things. You can see it's got a slot there for uh, a slot there just like you've got slot G it's got a slot G as well so you can carry a radar and you can also carry a biofuel extractor on the same mission so I'm currently just waiting for these exotic extractors to, to finish and I should have completed the mission and all I've got to do is every now and then let's just make sure um, make sure that nothing's getting too close to my base. So I brought a bolt action rifle with me. So if it's wolves I use my bow and I've just got the you know the basic the first uh, first on the tech first on the tree Sheng Gong bow steel knife and a bolt action rifle with me and a bit of ammunition so all I do is every now and then come outside see the scorpion over there. I've had two I've had two scorpions come to the base. Uh, now the trick here is don't kill stuff. Uh, as soon as you kill a, a wolf, the scorpion will go towards the corpse. So you don't want to um, really do that. So, so, all, so that wolf's heading in a different direction to my base, so I'm actually just going to leave it alive. Hopefully it'll walk off and hopefully the scorpion will also stay over there. I've had, uh, when I first got here I had to kill some wolves so it gave me some space so I could actually build my base. And that did attract a scorpion. I did have to kill one, and I got a second one as well that got attracted to my horse inside my base. So you do have to keep a little bit of an eye out. Just make sure um, the scorpions aren't getting too cold, too close. I'd say they take eight to ten shots from my bolt action rifle to kill a uh, scorpion, and they're not that fast. So you can tend to back away or. You can use your base as a as a blocker, so it'll crawl up. You can kind of come around here and it gets stuck on the corner. Come around here, it gets stuck on that corner. So you can kind of go around the back of your base to, to stop it from getting closer to you. You can out sprint it, so that's not a problem. So another option is just run it away, but uh, obviously then you could run into wolves and it starts to get a problem. So that's where the exotics is for me. I do, I've noticed there's a there's also a, some kind of gauge down there. So uh, I think that's where you need to use the vapor condenser, but I haven't got one. So I think what I'm going to do is just fix my wall. There we go. So I brought a hammer with me to fix stuff as well. The only damage you take is when the scorpions attack. So 
the danger is they, they can destroy your uh, door so I've built this I've built this uh, this up which gives me the ability to get on the roof but also because it's stone it protects the wooden door as well from attack so that was quite a useful addition you can see that that wolf now has turned around looks like it's heading in my direction oh no it's still heading away so that's fine we're safe one over there now I will kill that one because I don't mind if something gets attracted down there Something gets attracted down there, that's great. I don't know what happens with this ice if it gets too thick. Do you have to hack it off or something? I think that, don't think that's that damaging my ceiling or is that damaging the ice? Let's have a look. Can't really tell. That's damaging my ceiling. So I won't bother trying to do that. I'm sure I need a shovel for that then. Ah, now these extractors have finished. And so now... Oh, I'll just leave that in there for now. I don't think I'm going to need that. So that's the whole exotics vein, which is underneath the building. You can't see it. And I've managed to empty it using two extractors. Um, I'd probably bring along three or four cans of biofuel and that that pretty much did it for me. See, I can use them two half up. And I use, yeah, the other two half up. And I've been here before, of course, the first time round. So, yeah, I'd say probably three cans is enough. Bring four for safe, safe measure. Four cans of biofuel. Uh, now what I want to do is grab one of these, which is a orbital exchange interface. First time I've ever used this. Um, and apparently you put it outside... Uh, that looks like it pressed to interact. Request equipment. Looks like I can. Looks like I can put some dropship cargo into there. So uh, that's good. I've got an insurance. Don't need all that for now. So um, let's go get the. All right, let's uh, let's kill some stuff down there. Um, that means the. That thing should be kept busy doing that. Uh, so should the wolves, to be honest. If you kill a few, then they can, they can, they can go off and start to eat the corpses. Oh, leveled up. Right, so that should do that. What I want to do is get the exotics and get it in that orbital exchange pod. So I'm going to swap around, swap over uh, some of this stuff now. I'm going to use that, to be fair. Uh, get rid of that as well because I've got more on my horse. I think looks like that's about it. So it looks like we've got all of it um, 20, 40, 60, 800, so 200 exotics. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have got some more of those now, so let's just kill that. We don't want that coming up while I'm busy, being busy. And that just keeps that oh, scorpion busy as well, collecting the corpses and stuff. That's it. And he's gone back into hiding over there, that scorpion, which is good. So, one over there, we'll just have to be careful of. Right, let's get this... Uh... Oh, you can't do that. You must have to request... Here we go. Here comes a pod. Typically, uh, the scorpion's going to go very near that pod. So we'll get ready. See if stealth does any difference. So it's probably going to see me here. Put it all in. Oh, we're good there. We're good, okay, we're good. Place exotics and deliver orbital pod to station. I just want to see if there's anything else I want to send. Um, no, I'm going to have to go back to my other base for my uh, other items. But I do want to go and get a... a um, I do actually want to go and get a gear anyway, so... And I haven't got a gear, so I'll be going back on my horse. I believe in much of my stuff here. So I'll send that pod to space, and hopefully that'll actually complete the mission. 
and then it's about whether I want to bother to get the gauger or not. Deliver that to station. Well, friend, you done down there? Sure looks like it from here. You know, who's got ambitions. So you'll be looking real good to them right now. There we go, and I think it goes up to space. So that's in theory, I should have 200 exotics now when I, uh, when I go back to the ship. So that's, uh, that's how to make your biofuel extractors safe while you're mining the exotics. And you're going to want to bring a lot of stuff with you. And I, I did bring a lot of stuff with me make sure because the second time around, I didn't want to have to run all that way back again for, like I did the first time so yeah the second time around I found the exotic so I could bring two extractors four cans of biofuel the full base pieces for the base I brought a box a bed you know a, a fire so I could cook and stay warm while I was here I am wearing full furs as well keep warm and I brought actually brought a spare water bottle I actually brought a spare oxygen as well, just in case. You can see my water's going down. I actually find that instead of bringing a spare water bottle, it's actually more efficient to bring watermelons. Uh, they, they spoil much slower. As you can see, that water bottle's empty, even though even though I brought it full. So it goes down even when the, you're not using it. Whereas a watermelon, you know, the stack of 20 watermelons, and you can keep the stacks at 20 to slow down the uh, thing. But, you know, you consume that watermelon, and you get back a fair amount of... Of water so and it and your food so really probably more efficient to bring watermelons than it is to bring spare um, spare water bottles I suppose when you get more more effective water skins uh, that don't leak then you'll be better off but for now that's good for me so uh, yeah I'm gonna make it back to my base now and I, I might do another video shortly on the on the um, condenser but for now thanks for watching Helvonet Games and I'll see you again soon